Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first eight commandments, and now it's time for the ninth. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's, neighbor's wife. wife. Deuteronomy 5, 21a. In a certain sense, this is an extension of Commandment 6. Lustful desires and thoughts fall specifically and explicitly under the Ninth Commandment. However, in order to understand precisely what this commandment means, we need to remember two major things. What a sinful desire or thought actually is, and what it means to covet. As we've covered in previous episodes, sins are always acts of the will. So many desires and thoughts, which you don't will yourself to have, can be disordered or in other ways similar to lust, without being actually sinful. A thought or desire needs to be willed in order to be a sin. In addition, the thought or desire also needs to be disordered. In other words, you think or desire things in the wrong order, such as desiring a good meal more than the life of the person next to you, or money more than holiness. What does it mean to covet something or someone? I've heard it said that this basically means wishing harm on someone because of some good thing that they have, but there's nothing in either the Catechism of the Catholic Church or the Baltimore Catechism to suggest that. When the word covet is used in this commandment, it seems to mean desire a disordered thing intentionally. Since a desire for someone who's already married is always a disordered desire, if you ever desire it intentionally, you violated the Ninth Commandment in, from what I can tell, the only way that it can be violated. Next time, what does it mean to covet your neighbor's goods? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.